All right, today you should start off by recreating what I have on the screen right here. Uh, we've got our ellipse that's 100 by 100, and it's being drawn at coordinates x, y. And x, y starts at 300, 300, but then y we're subtracting by 3, which should make it go up, and x we're adding 1, which should make it go right. And if we play, there we actually see it moving. Cool. So go ahead and pause if you need to and recreate this. So that's all well and good, but the problem with this is that when it hits the edge of the screen, it just goes off. So let's make it screen wrap. So in other words, when you hit the top of the screen, we want it to disappear and then reappear at the bottom of the screen like it's wrapped around. So in order to do that, we need to make a test that says something like this. In pseudocode, I'd say if the circle hit the circle hit the top of the screen, then I want to say something like move it to the bottom of the screen. Wow, I really can't type today. Move it to the bottom of the screen. Okay, well how's this going to work? Everything we write has to be about the numbers inside variables. So if I want to know if the circles hit the top of the screen, it can't be about the x variable, it should be about the y variable. So I need to rewrite this having something to do with y. Okay, so if it's hit the top of the screen. This is going to be almost right, but not quite. You, the top of the screen is a coordinate of 0, so you might say if y equals 0. That's sort of like a reasonable guess if the, the y coordinate of the circle is at the top of the screen. Okay, move it to the bottom. How do we do that? Well, we'll just tell the y to change what its value is. We'll say set y equal to 600 is the bottom of the screen. So let's go ahead and try that. Whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. So it does seem to have worked, at least for this particular kind of motion it did. Um, but there's a couple of things that are a little bit broken about this. Let's change it so it's moving a little bit faster. Let's make it move at a speed of 16 maybe. And then let's run it again. Well, you saw it move a lot faster, and you also saw that it just disappeared off the top of the screen, and it didn't actually reappear on the bottom. So let's think about what's happening for a minute. It might help to watch it happen more slowly. So up here in Setup, you can do this. Frame rate uh, is 2, so this will run at 2 frames a second. And then let's run it again and watch it. So you see that every frame, it doesn't move smoothly. Instead, it's really actually jumping by 16 pixels. And that was the key moment when it should have disappeared and reappeared and nothing happened. And here's what's going on. If you remember, we're moving the Y coordinate by 16 pixels every time. We only, we only do the screen wrap if the Y coordinate is exactly equal to zero. So what's happening is we're drawing an ellipse where the Y coordinate is a little bit above the top of the, sorry, a little bit below the top of the screen. So like maybe at a coordinate of, I don't know, six or something. And then in the next frame, we subtract 16 from that. So in one frame, we draw it here. In the very next frame, we draw it up here at negative 16. Notice it jumped over y equals 0. First y was 6, then y was negative 16. And so it missed this if statement because the computer isn't smart enough to figure out that what you want to say is look at all the values in between. It's literally doing exactly what you're telling it to. It's saying is the y variable right now exactly equal to 0. So the solution to this problem is to say if the y value is less than or equal to 0. Because now if it jumps over the top of the screen, the y coordinate will be less than 0 because it will be negative 16 and the if statement will catch it and it will go ahead and jump it back onto the screen there. So let's give it a try. So I'll say if y is less than or equal to 0 and let's keep the frame rate slow so we can watch it happen. So again, we're watching it step by step and watch the center. You'll see the center be right here and then the very next frame it'll move. There we go. Watching it this slowly has maybe made you 
notice something else that's not quite right. We actually don't want it to screen wrap when the halfway point is off the screen. We'd kind of like the entire circle to be off the screen before we had it teleport itself to the bottom there. That's something that I'm going to have you guys do in the exercises, and I'll have a particularly tricky thing for you to think about having to do with that. For the moment, let's go ahead and add some more if statements that will make it wrap off the right-hand side of the screen, or the left, or the bottom. So I'm already saying if y is less than or equal to 0, set it to be 600. Let's do this. Let's say if y is greater than 600, that must mean I'm off the bottom of the screen. So I'll set y to be equal to, let's set it to be equal to 1, which is the top of the screen. Um, if it's confusing to you to see this and remember what it all means, you can add comments. You can say, um, if off the top, move to bottom. Ah. And then here you'd say, abort if off the bottom, move to top. And then we'd have the same thing for x. So go ahead and pause the video and write the same things for the x coordinates. I'm assuming you've paused the video. So let's see, this is if I'm off the right hand side of the screen, I'll set it back to the left hand side. And if I'm off the left hand side, I'll set it back to the right hand side. Okay, so I'm going to change my x speed so it's a little bit faster, and I'm going to set my frame rate. I'm going to delete the frame rate thing, and let's see if the screen wrap is working. Great, so now we see it wrap off the right-hand side of the screen also. If we really want to test this well, we should test to see does it screen wrap when it hits the bottom and the left-hand side. So let's reverse the y speed and also the x speed. So now I'll subtract 3, so I'll be going left, and I'll add 16, so I'll be going down. Great, so it's also worked in that direction. You should also test yours to make sure yours works in that direction. If for some reason yours doesn't work, uh, do the exercises anyway, and you'll pro I'll probably help you along the way, and you'll see what your own problem is. Okay, good luck.